Fireside Roofing. Let's start out tonight over Evans Town Center where we continue to see clear skies, lots of high pressure and dry air. That's the story going into early this weekend and we continue to see clear skies across the entire CSRA for the rest of this evening. Tonight we're going to be dropping down to a low of 50 degrees. This is about average for this time of year and northeast winds are going to remain very calm as well, but that's going to switch up once we get to Sunday. We have breezy conditions ahead for us. Dry conditions for our dew points 51 for a degree in Aiken, 58 towards Millen, and 59 for a dew point down south towards Swainsboro. So it's more dry the more north you go. And that's from a weak cold front that moved through overnight. In terms of tomorrow, it's going to be another hot day. High today was into the mid 80s, going to be into the mid 80s once again for tomorrow. 84 is our high with south, south winds 5 miles an hour and sunny skies as well. Warm and dry conditions prevail all the way through Saturday. This is mainly from a warm front, the tail end of it just moving through Friday afternoon into Saturday morning, which will bring highs into the upper 80s for Saturday. So once that starts to move through, we have a cold front following, which will really drop our temperatures down into the low 70s. Once that moves through, we do have a slight chance of precipitation still sitting only about a hundredth of an inch of rain and only in some areas across the CSRA. But the big thing that we are going to be seeing is the wind following this cold front. 10 miles per hour towards Savannah, 12 towards Swainsboro, and 12 towards Augusta. This is on Thursday, so if you saw those color gradients, those oranges and even yellows and reds, those are some of these stronger wind gusts that we could be seeing Monday through Thursday. This could even start as soon as Sunday. And the gusts could be anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour, and we're also going to be getting this from the east. So we're going to feel a little bit of a sea breeze helping cool us down at times. What we are continuing to see is dry air. This is going to be everywhere in the yellow. We're seeing a uh, on the drought monitor. We're seeing very dry and abnormally dry conditions for this time of year, and it's no help that we're getting a lot of zonal flow from Texas that continues to bring very dry air to the CSRA. And now fire danger will be increased from Sunday all the way to Wednesday, mainly because of no rainfall since October 1st. This is one of the driest Octobers yet that we do have on record. So depending on how that cold front moves through, it could end as one of the driest Octobers for the entire CSRA. For burns, you're going to want to avoid burning anything, especially because of the dry air as well as the wind gusts anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. This could be a fire hazard. If you're looking forward to Halloween, we have a great forecast for you. Temperatures going to be into the 70s just after sunset. Your sunset for Halloween is going to be at 636 p.m. And then for all your trick or treaters, we got 7 p.m. 74 degrees. 70 degrees by 8 p.m. and 67 degrees when we get to about 9 p.m. So it's going to be on the warmer side for um, Halloween. That's going to be 80 degrees for the high for the day and then eventually get into those 70s. In the meantime, we enjoy the sunshine until Sunday. 10% chance of showers both Sunday and Monday. And those breezy conditions continuing as well. 72 degrees for Monday, warming back up to the 80s by Wednesday.